Let's create this cool pop out effect using Adobe Photoshop. Here I have my base image. I'm just going to place my second image on top of that image. Control T and transform it to be about the right size that you would like for it to be on that image. And hit OK. Now we're going to use Select Subject. So select Subject. It's going to do a pretty good job on a portrait like this. Check to see if we need to do any Select and Mask for instance, on her hair. Once you have a good selection, add a layer mask. I'm going to turn that off for a second, and I'm going to choose the area that I want it to pop out of. I'm going to use my quick selection tool and just select this very quickly. Control J to make a copy of just that part. Now I'm going to make a copy of our top layer that we want to pop out. Control J and turn that layer off. And with this original layer, we're going to create a clipping mask with what's beneath it so that it will only be seen within the screen. So click on your original mask layer and the hamburger menu, create clipping mask. So that looks good, but we want this part popping out. That's why we made this copy before we made our clipping mask. If we turn it back on, that looks good on the top, but not on the bottom. So we need to get rid of this part down here. Let's click on our layer that has the original cutout of the screen. Control, click on the thumbnail. We can now use this to get rid of the stuff we don't want. But right now it is selecting the inside. We need to select the outside. So go to Select Inverse. Now we can draw directly on our mask and tell it we don't want this stuff down here. So on the mask, white to reveal, black to conceal. So we need black and a brush. And we're just going to say we do not want to see this part. Now that's looking pretty good. Control D to get rid of the marching ants. Now we can do a little bit of stuff here to finesse this. So I like to have a little area of darkness kind of around the edges because that's what your eye does when it looks at a screen. I'm going to use this layer to create a selection. Control, click on this layer. And then I'm going to add a layer. And right now I want to put it on the top so I can see what I'm doing. Grab a very soft brush, so zero hardness, and make it a pretty dark color. Brackets to make it pretty big. And then just draw. Don't worry about it right now. It's going to look better in a second. Just kind of draw some darkness around the edges. I'm going to turn it to multiply. I'm going to bring my opacity down some. And then I'm going to put it behind the girl. I think that really adds a little bit of realism. Now let's make a shadow for the girl, which will make it even more realistic. Control, click on the layer mask to get a selection. Make a new layer and fill it with that same dark color we used a minute ago. Now we need to Gaussian Blur this, Filter Gaussian Blur. We'll go ahead and put it behind her. Then we can say Edit, Transform, Distort, and put it wherever you think looks best. Try to think about where the light is coming from, but really it's just a kind of subtle effect to make her look like she's popping out. Now we need to change this to Multiply and adjust our opacity. And there you have it. Before and after. Before and after.